Good afternoon, ladies and gentle pugs. Tis I, your lord, the King Pug Gaming, and welcome back to another episode of Fish Feed and Grow. And you should notice that but we're not on fish select screen because I felt like doing something a bit different. Now we have been playing as several different fishies in the great map and sometimes the ocean map for, for the past 16, 16 episodes. episodes. Now for the 17th one, let's spectate the great map around us and see what kind of chaos ensues every time. Well, there's the beginning of it. Oh, all those angler fish are not safe from all of those great whites. Such a pity they even tried to escape. Okay, there it is. The green moray eel in its natural habitat. It's out there, searching. But what is it searching for, apparently? We just don't know. Oh, it camouflaged. Well, it hit itself. But where could it possibly be? It's hiding in the bushes. I know that much. Well, there's the shrimp. <laughs> He definitely looks like he's having a good time. The whale sharks in the distance. Now let's go check out what happens near the abyss. Oh, there's all those colossal crabs. No abyss. Show me what happens here. Whale sharks are just swimming peacefully in a circle, but I'm expecting a bunch of chronosaurs to interrupt that process. None have spawned here? Why? Oh, there they are. And I'm pretty sure I know where it's going. Towards the Ichthyosaurus, apparently. And the Styxosaurus, too. Jeez, they're ganging up on the little guy. I feel kinda bad. Oh, that Ichthyosaurus is dead. Yep. Okay, Styxosaurus. Yeah, you got him now. You having trouble? Nah, he's got it. I was wrong. It wasn't the Chronosaurus that was going to attack the whale shark. It, it was, was the Styxosaurus again. Apparently, Ichthyosaurs are not enough to satisfy its um, hunger. But whale sharks, they're big enough. It's sad that the whale shark can't even fight back. Atlanta, you won't get any whale sharks from here. Other museums in this country where there are whale sharks, but the one in Atlanta is one of the most common locations to find them. But yeah. It's very dead. Ghost, Ghost sharks still have their eyes popping out of their head, and they're still attacking every single angler fish they see. It just doesn't end. And there it's already dead. Now let's explore the Arctic waters. Oh, there's the sperm whale, along with a bunch of orcas. We should obviously miss that sound. But let's just hope that no one dares to get close to the sperm whale when it's making that sound. <laughs> Noi Redfish also attacking the orca. Bad idea, they'll eat your liver. <laughs> oh, orcas and narwhals are still going at it. Well, the narwhal just managed to escape. And there it goes. Oh, there's a beluga. Now that's the orcas and the narwhals tar- The narwhals? What? What did I just say? I said narwhals? I meant to say narwhals. Now a beluga is the target of the orcas and the narwhals. But I don't think you can escape just in time. Penguin, 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 you gotta get out of there, little penguin. There be monsters here, little penguin. You need to move on, little penguin. The seals are gonna get you. Why are you going that low? Gotta get out of there, little penguin. Gotta leave, little penguin. You probably died, little, little penguin. penguin. And there they are, the Syphactinus. And they're still going after Dunkleosteus. Nope, Dunkleosteus are still cannibalizing their own species. And Syphactinus are always trying to take the kill. But... Oh, oh there's a problem. problem. And there goes the Syphactinus and the duck. Where's the Megalodon in all of this? Oh, that's just brutal. That poor Cocostia ganged up on by a bunch of black tip reef sharks. Syphactinus, I'm afraid you were too late. The Dunk is back. 
and it avoided the Cocastius and going for black tip reef sharks. Oh, you gotta move on. The Prognathodon is still there. Well, apparently, even though it cannibalizes all the placoderms it sees, the Dunkleosius has a advantage to Cocastius' death. But is it enough? No, she wants more. Pause. The more as we travel around that circular stone, the more Dunkleosius was see. And the more they try to bite each other, it seems. And the more black tip reef sharks they kill. It seems. Prognathodon comes out of nowhere and kills every single one of them. Gotta move on, Dunk. Don't try to fight that thing. There you go, just target something else. But still. You are very dead. Well, there's the Darudon. Going into Megalodon territory. And Anglerfish are here too. How did you escape the wrath of the ghost sharks? I don't think you're gonna fool anyone that easily. I can still see you. The Sephactinus might be able to as well. And all those creatures. Okay, okay there's, there's the, the Megalodon. Megalodon. And everything is guaranteed certain death when they see the Megalodon. This Megalodon's just greedy. It took the Sephactinus meal. The Zyphactinus, as we would call it. I just call it Zephactinus for no odd reason. But I think it's pronounced Zyphactinus. But I don't know. And the Meg <laughs> has jumped out of the water. <laughs> How far did he go? And he jumped out again. This Darudon is really good at dodging. Oh, he dodged it again. Jeez. That's impressive. Oh, not this time. I was really hoping it would dodge it a third time. And it's out again. And goodbye. <laughs> then it's back. <laughs> okay, it took everything down there. You didn't have to chomp it into that many tiny pieces. Man, you're so greedy. Oh, the Darudon just got one scrap. And the Megalodon slightly jumped out of the water. But killed everything again. But is he gonna find the Prognathodon and face off in a battle to the death? I mean, the Prognathodon is gonna be the loser in this battle. Because the Megalodon always kills its prey. EXCEPT FOR ME! The Prognathodon has mainly been killing small to average sized things, while the Megalodon has been killing anything that's worthy of a bunch of EXP. And there it goes. What is the Prognathodon going to kill next? Another Dunkleosteus. So sad. Surely the Megalodon can find its way to the Prognathodon without having to smell an inch of blood like a great white. A pint of blood, doggy. Get it right. They are just more than a hundred feet apart from each other. If the Megalodon would stop killing everything over here and face the Prognathodon, then we can actually get a seat. We can actually see what goes on with these two creatures. From the beginning to the end. Oh, look at that. Looks like it's going into the Prognathodon's territory. Nope, it's going after whale sharks now. Come on, I wanted to see a duel between the Megalodon and the Prognathodon. It's coming back. Yep, there it is. That whale shark did not survive. A single bite. I feel bad. Orca, Orca get, get out, out of here! here. You're, you're not, not, you're not safe, safe with that Megalodon, Megalodon around here. Orca, you gotta move on. That was race car speed right there, and just went in for the kill. Actually, now that the Megalodon is in Arctic waters, we could probably see a duel between the Megalodon and the sperm whale. I have never seen that before. It'd be very interesting. Uh, Megalodon? Where in the world did you go? Oh, found him. Back at the whale sharks on this side. The Prognathodon has to be close by. Oh, hey there, leopard seal. Nice to see you again. Orca, get out of here! Megalodon spots its prey and... Oh, the Orco dodged him! Like a bounce! Orca, move! Oh, 
It's very dead. The prognathodon hasn't moved from this location for the past few minutes. It's just been constantly killing Dunkleosteus and everything else it can find. That's, That's not, not the Megalodon. Darodon versus Dunkleosteus. Oh, we've seen this fight before, and the Dunkleosteus won because I was controlling him. Oh, the Dunkleosteus is dead. It's guaranteed. Yep. Takes too long just to charge a one powerful bite. Okay, now the Megalodon is in the Prognathodon's territory, which clearly means he's ready to fight even bigger prey. But the Prognathodon, I don't think so. There we go. Now, it's time. Okay, if the Megalodon, okay, Tiger Sharks. Now, where is the Prognathodon? Where is he? He's still there. The Megalodon still in this area? Probably is. Just gotta check first. Yep, yeah, still there. Probably less than a couple hundred feet away. Last time I think they were about a thousand feet apart. Prognathodon, you are aware that there are other things you can kill besides black tip reef sharks, right? Oh, I think he's gonna do it. Oh, there's the Megalodon. They're about to duel if the Megalodon sees the Prognathodon in time before he leaves. I don't even know if it's gonna happen. The Megalodon I can't even see. Nope, the Megalodon went back to its own territory. Oh, the Safactinists are very dead. They can't get out of this encounter alive. That, that just proves my point. They can't survive the Prognathodon. The Megalodon just entered Dunkleosteus territory, and it's already killing everything. Yep, nothing is safe from the Meg's eyes. I think it's gonna go to the Arctic waters. And also... Kill everything! Oh, I think it's gonna happen now! The Megalodon is about to enter Prognathodon territory. Unless if it keeps on smashing its face into the wall. Then it's not gonna kill anything. Are you really that dumb, man? Anyways, there are, there's even bigger prey. Bye bye! He's gone. Just consistently killing Dunkleosteus. Okay. Now, where's the Prognathodon? And where in the world is the Meg going? There was nothing up there. And it's still getting its face stuck into the wall. Unbelievable. Well, the Meg is back in this area, but I have no idea where the Prognathodon went off to. Prognathodon? Hmm? What was that? Did hear the Prognathodon? That might have been the Prognathodon. Oh. It's just the Meg. Get out of here, Dunkle Uncle! You are not safe! And that just proves my point. Again! Oh, there you are, Prognathodon. Just been killing everything in this spot for the past few minutes. But I don't think it's enough for him to grow strong enough to kill the Megalodon easily. Oh, there's the Meg. Still killing Dunkleosteus and smashing its head into the wall. I think the Prognathodon is stuck here. It's almost found its way out. Just needs to keep on killing prey out of this area. Then maybe it can escape. Yep, there it goes. And it's out. But I don't think for too long. Exactly! And the Prognathodon is almost out of the area completely. But the Megalodon, I haven't seen him for the past few minutes. Just got away and. Really? You, you got, got stuck, stuck behind, behind corals? Of all things, corals! Prognathodon, you aren't gonna find any more prey here. You killed everything! Now the Megalodon is very close to the Prognathodon, but the Prognathodon still has to get out of this area. 
if the Megalodon wants to actually fight it. Which I'm pretty sure it does, does but, but the Prognathodon just doesn't, just doesn't want to leave. leave. The Megalodon, Megalodon got stuck in the wall again! Come on! Just fight the Prognathodon! He's still stuck. Well, there's the Prognathodon. I've been looking for him for the past few minutes. The Megalodon's in your territory. Don't you want to fight him? Okay, I think it's about to happen. If the Megalodon doesn't target the Dunkleosteus any longer, then I think it's going to attack the Prognathodon. It fled. Great. No, it didn't. They are actually fighting. But the Prognathodon just decides to run away. But the Megalodon surprisingly moves even faster than it, despite the fact that it's larger. So the Prognathodon should have the speed advantage, but not in this scenario. And the Prognathodon is dead now. I'm pretty sure the Megalodon will then continuously kill it until it gets big enough to swallow it whole. Pause. And it spawned in the same spot. So that means the Megalodon will likely find the Prognathodon again and quickly kill it. That is if he can get out from over there. There it goes. The Prognathodon was spotted. And bam. 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 And now it's dead. And broken apart. And this, ladies and gentle pugs, is what never ends. So that's gonna be it for this whole episode. We've spectated pretty much almost everything that happens in the world when I'm not even playing it. Well, playing as any fishes. But yeah, kinda crazy to be honest. So now, I hope y'all have enjoyed watching me lose my sanity. And as always, Thanks for watching, y'all. Have a nice day. And stay pug-tastic.